Hello, I'm Chuck, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Glenn Burton GE775 hollow body electric guitar for $200. I have seen it for $450. I personally paid $209 from Amazon. I do not know if that is a second guitar. Um, there are a couple defects on it, but hey, as I said, we're talking $200 guitar. I'm not expecting, you know, a super quality. For example, if you look at this, it's got a beautiful white, what you would call a piano finish. Got some nice binding on there. And, you know, if I paid $1,000 for this guitar, I would expect it to be 100% flawless. But unfortunately, on this guitar, there is a slight blemish on this one. I believe it's up here somewhere. Um, it's so minute that you can't really see it till you get the magnifying glass out and go over it with a fine tooth comb. Or maybe it's somewhere else. It's been so long. No, it's yeah, it's right there. So I don't actually know if the blemish can be captured by the camera or not. So you can see, you know, I'm being a little bit picky here when I'm saying a blemish and I did call and get a return on an exchange excuse me and you can see it's a nice fence let's see we add a little light to it here and I don't think that's making much difference on the light is it I think I got the white balance set so we'll see but you can see it's it's pretty nice it's you know I saw this finish on there, I was like, wow, that looks really cool in the white. And, of course, I'm wearing a Steve Howe t-shirt. Steve Howe has played the ES-175 since probably 1968. I don't know what year he bought his first one before that, because he played with another band. Um, you used to have that album. So I always loved the ES-175. It's, you know, he used it. Very unique guitar player. I like the electric, but I love the acoustic. So hey, here is best of both worlds. It's got a very nice tone to it. It's not quite an acoustic, but you can, after it's plugged in, I have it on a couple of songs playing with my acoustic and I can't even hardly tell the difference. So it's like, why was I even bothered while well, that's different story but um this is a beautiful guitar for two hundred dollars i give you some of the cons and some of the pros when i got this particular guitar the spot weld it come loose so i ordered another one it's like hey two hundred dollars i'm not going to come in exchange for twenty dollar part uh it came with a roller bearing bridge I've never had that before, so that's cool. But the new part they sent me had a rust spot on it. So that was no good. So I ended up ordering a third third one and keeping the original roller bearing bridge they gave me. So again, for that's a minor defect. Uh, the tuning pegs, I'll be honest with you, the ones that were on this were total crap. And that's what you would expect from a $200 guitar. So that leaves me a little breather room. I did not buy showers. I did not buy expensive super pickups. On this one, I was going to purchase some Seymour Duncans. And these are Klugers. And the tuning key, they were $50. On Amazon it's the second set I bought these I put on myself another one I had the guitar shop do but it, it's so simple that I needed to save a couple dollars take the other ones out drill two new holes if you have a drill way to go the switch isn't bad the pots I do not know if they're the 250 or 500s but they seem excellent very smooth 
and searching on the internet just tools to make this guitar if you search videos you'll see people have videos making flat top guitars it's amazing I mean solid body I'm a carpenter hey I can take a router we've done that in the past take a solid piece of wood sand the edges cut your curves in with the jigsaw sand it down get the router out plunge your router make all your pickups and all that make the hardest part is making sure that where your neck attaches is super accurate uh, we didn't have the expertise to make necks. We just bought a neck, bolted it on. Um, even Fender Stratocasters in the past, first thing we do when we buy them is take the tuning keys off. Even some of the older Gibsons, they had the beautiful ivory tuning keys. They didn't have the smooth accuracy. So I have to say it's a shame I've removed those and changed those. Um, Decreasing the value of the guitar, I'm sure, making it a better guitar to play. So, seeing the videos on this being made, there's nothing I could purchase to even begin to think about paying $200 for a guitar like this. So I'm thinking this is, you know, a no-brainer. $200, I can replace the pickups. I can easily get some DiMaggio's or throw some Seymour Duncan's in there, whatever, at whatever price range. That gives me a lot of breathing room, um, which I have done on another guitar. So, all in all, I am super, super happy with the quality of what you would expect from a $200 guitar. Actually, I'm more, I'm more than that. I'm, I'm blown away. I and mean, there's no way I could even begin to even think about making a guitar like this. Even anywhere near that price. Let's look at some of the craftsmanship on this. And the playing, 